Hi, I'm Trey Ratcliffe. Uh, welcome to my very messy studio. Uh, what I want to do is show you a tip for Aurora HDR. You know, sometimes you end up with these problems where you just have a ton of noise in the sky. It gets all kind of gummed up, right? So there's a few ways to get rid of it, and I will show you right now how to do it. Hello, welcome into my studio. Uh, we're going to do a little denoise action. Um, I think you're going to really enjoy this. It's really fun. It's super easy. And I'll show you a few very powerful ways to get all that nasty noise or artifacts out of your image. Okay. So, uh, by the way, if this is your first time watching one of these tip videos, we've got a ton of them. Uh, we also have like longer tutorials, like an hour plus long tutorial where I go through every situation. You're welcome to see those too. All right. So I'm going to pick up these three photos and drop them here into load HDR brackets. Okay. Um, these are the three photos, uh, dark, medium, and light. I don't really think I need to align them. I think I was on a tripod, but my memory is so good here in my elder years. So we'll just go ahead and do a little auto align action there, just in case it can't hurt. Because I notice even sometimes on a tripod that there might be a little bit off, you know, even in non-windy situations. I don't know, I don't know why that is. It's one of the mysteries of tripod photography. All right, here we are. Um, this is in Dubai. This is uh, the marina in Dubai. Now, as you may know by now, there's all kinds of features inside Aurora HDR Pro. You can see we just have heaps and heaps of, uh, of tools. It's really cool. Uh, we have all these different HDR controls. We have image radiance to make it glow. We have curves. We even have layers, so you can apply different things to different parts of the photo. In fact, we'll probably play with that a little bit today. All right. So let's just do something simple here. All right, sports fans. Um, let's go here to the structure area where all the HDR action really happens. And let's go ahead and increase the uh, HDRness here a little bit, the HDR amount. Uh, let's soften it up a little bit. And let's add a little bit of boost. We can also add a little bit of detail, OK? Now, just by doing that, and this often happens, frankly, in night photography, is that the sky just gets really noisy, or there's like banding or ripping. Let's let me zoom in and show you what that looks like. All right, here's one spot where it's a little bit noisy to say the least, uh, but you can see the buildings look great, right? So you like HDR um, and the buildings, but not in the sky at night so much. It's a little bit tougher. During the daytime, it's a different story. During the daytime or sunset, sun rises, oh, it's good as gold. You still may even get a little noise there, so these tricks will work for that as well. So let's go look at another section. This is sometimes happens as well. See all this crazy chunky chunk stuff that's happening over here? It's just a mess. It's a right out mess. So let's clean that up. All right, so here we are in noisy area number one. Let's clean this up with a little HDR denoise action. So I'll click on layers. I can do layer. I'll call this one HDR denoise. All right. And let's go down here to HDR denoise. And basically, you have three controls. They're very, very simple. Look at this, so I just might slide up the amount a little bit, increase the smoothness, a little bit of opacity. And look at that. Um, after, before, after, look at that. I mean, as fast and as smooth as a Instagram Asian. Unbelievable. You like that joke over there, Ruby? <laughs> She's rolling her eyes. Ruby's over there editing together the tip videos. She goes, that, that was a bad joke. Hey, hey, it's true. Have you guys been on Instagram lately? I mean, it's crawling with them. All right, let's 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 get back to HDR, okay? Stop being distracted, Trey. Let's go look at another area of the photo that this may not have fixed, okay? And then I'll show you how to fix that even more. All right, you can take the smoothness to a whole new level. So now when I come over here to the left side of the photo, you can still see this banding action, right? It's a little smoother, but there's still some serious banding. So I'll show you how to really clean that up, okay? Uh, but first, let's zoom out to the regular size, and we want to um, just mask in the sky, right? Because we just did this HDR denoise, and what that did is that took away some of the details that were in all the buildings, all right? So we want to click on our brush here, I'm going to set the brush all the way to 100%. All right, make this thing a little smaller. And I'm just going to start painting in here, OK? Every time I click, I'm just doing about 100%. I've got a little bit of overlap on the buildings. That's OK. That's OK. This isn't uh, brain surgery. You can be a little bit off. I use the left bracket to make that smaller. Going between those buildings, right through there. Look at that. Oh, uh, yeah. Look at that. 
have a party. So I can look at the uh, before and after, and you can see that I just affected that. If you want to see the mask that I did, um, that's kind of where I painted my mask. Oops, I missed a little spot right there. Missed a little spot. Uh, let's get in there too, right on. Cool, okay. So now we're gonna do some extreme noise reduction. I picked this picture in particular because I noticed this had a lot of ripping in the sky. This usually doesn't happen this bad, but if it does happen to you, here's how you get rid of that, that real extreme banding, okay. So let's go ahead and make another one. Okay, extreme banding. Okay, and here what we're gonna do by the way, you'll notice each time we make a new layer, it resets all these controls, so you can do it as many times as you want to. Um, let's go ahead and, and zoom in there first, okay, to see what it's gonna look like. Let me zoom in to 100%, move this thing over there, okay? And what we're gonna do basically is do a massive amount of HDR denoise, more than normal, okay? Increase the opacity, see it's smoothing out a little bit, let's a little bit, there's still a few bands in here, right? But what's really gonna take it over the edge is when you go do the HDR amount, okay? Um, HDR look amount and slide that down to the left. It's gonna get super smooth. Look at that, Oh yeah. Right on. Okay, so now we're gonna go just mask that part in. Okay, so let me zoom that out. So as you can see, now that we've added this new layer and moved these sliders in an extreme way, it's really smoothed out the whole image, which we don't want. We just want this banded area over here, right? this messy banded area. So watch this. When I start painting over it, it'll just smooth right out. Look at that. Unbelievable. And so you might ask, like, why did I, uh, why did I make another layer just for that one? Well, I didn't want that much extreme um, smoothing to be over here, because I do like all the texture part of the clouds over here, right? Yeah, I think that looks uh, pretty nice. So you can kind of see a little uh, before, way before, after, after, right on. And now let's look at the overall before and after. Let me get rid of these uh, these presets here and make it full screen. Or actually, I could just hit the F key. Here's the after, and this is the before, at least the middle of the two exposures. And once again, this somewhat ugly duckling was transformed magically into this. All right, super fun. Man, this saves me so much time. I used to have to export my HDR image and you know, run it through one of many different noise reduction programs or use, uh, use something in Photoshop. I just had to use all these different tools, but this is great because everything is inside of here for you. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this demo. Um, I love doing this. Of course, I could have done a ton more things to this photo. This is just about denoise though. And I hope you're having a great time with uh, Aurora HDR. As you share your stuff all over Instagram or Facebook or Google Plus or wherever, um, just use the hashtag Aurora HDR, all right? And I can check them out and see what's going on. All right, I'll see you guys next time. If you don't already have the new HDR software, just click there on the left. And we also have a bundle with a new tutorial in the upper right.